I'm Dave Arnold from Booker and Dax, and I'm here to show you how to set up your Searsaw for first use. Now, everything I'm going to tell you, you can find in the instructions and online at www.searsaw.com. Please read all the instructions first. What I'm going to do on this video, if you don't do it, you can literally destroy or damage this product by not following these three simple steps that I'm going to show you. First, you need to use the right torch uh, and the right tank. The only tanks that we recommend for use are these 16.4 uh, ounce, they're called camping uh, propane tanks. And we use these because they're short and because they're wide, which means that your Searsol is not going to tip over and cause a lot of problems. So use no other tanks other than these 16.4 ounce tanks ever because we don't want those things tipping over. On the torches, we recommend one of two torches, either the burns matic TS-4000 torch or the uh, burns matic TS-8000 torch. You might sometimes see this torch in a slightly different variant that's gray, that's, they're all fine. And the reason uh, that we use these torches is one, they have a nice high power output, but two, they fit on our approved tanks and they have a push button so that they start when you press it and when you let go, it releases. So I find that's the big safety point. I want it to turn off and I want it to release very quickly. Also, these parts of these torches are very robust and so a lot of other torches are not. Use no other torches besides uh, TS burns -O matic 8000 or the TS or the burns -O matic TS 4000. Uh, we've tried it specifically with things like Iwatani and uh, I just did not find it to be safe. Uh, I don't find it to be safe with smaller butane tanks. Use nothing else. Okay. So uh, let's unbox the sears all and see what comes inside. Okay, so before you start, uh, first you want to disconnect your torch from the gas. Make sure that it's in the off position because if it's on, sometimes there can be a little gas left in. So make sure it's off. All right, we're going to set up right now on a TS-8000. And then you're going to open the box. So in the box, you're going to get the actual one, two, three instructions that we're going to do right now. You're going to have a Searsol. The Searsol is probably going to come with the adapter already attached. There's a thumb screw here that you undo, and then the adapter. See how it only partially comes off? That's because in the adapter there's a little slot milled. And that's a safety uh, device so that your Searsol won't accidentally slip off if you fail to tighten the thumb screw. But what you're going to want to make sure is that the adapter is flush. Not like this, like this in because we're going to use this to set up the spacing of the sears all and the spacing as you'll see is very very important inside here is a bag that has the full instructions for the sears all as well as a set of spare screens this is the outer screen and this is the inner screen a spacer stick, which you're really going to need for your initial setup, right? If you lose it, that's just one eighth of an eighth of an inch thick. And there's some suggestions here on what you can use. It's also an eighth of an inch thick. And this is the Allen key. So the first thing we're going to do is loosen this Allen screw here such that um, it's not obstructing this. And then we're going to get our torch and we're going to stick the torch head onto uh, to stick the torch head into the sears all. Now look at here. You're going to take this adapter, this uh, spacing stick, and stick it in between the torch head and the sears all. So you see that? What, the, what you see here is this stick is maintaining exactly an eighth of an inch gap in between the back of the sears all and the tip of the torch. Right now, we're going to tighten the Allen screw here. Before you tighten this down, you're going to want to make sure that the sears all is straight, not like this not like this, straight up and down, because it's gonna be locked into that position for the rest of the time you have the adapter on. So you have the stick in place, you have the sears all correctly spaced here, and then you take this Allen key and you go to the adapter and you screw it down. Tight, but not crazy, right? And this should be firm, right? Now, you can, if you want, the tip can unscrew of your torch, don't worry about that, but the actual adapter should be firm and not be moving, right? Now, the reason this is important is if you get this spacing and this spacing is too much or too little, you can uh, actually destroy the screens, especially the inner screen of your Searsol. So if you don't do this properly with the stick, if you make it bigger by even another eighth of an inch, if you take it up to a quarter of an inch, you will damage the inner screen of your Searsol and therefore avoid the warranty. So don't do that. Make sure you get the spacing right with this stick. Now, let me show you something else. When you want to use your torch just as a regular torch, you loosen this thumb, thumb screw a lot, because remember this slot, and now you can just leave this adapter on your, uh, on your torch, and you can use it. Turn it 
it on as a regular torch without your sears all and then when you want to put the sears all on just locate the slot which should be on the very bottom slide the sears all on tighten the thumb screw and you're ready to go now look if this should get loose and your sears all when you're using it slips down it's not going to be a safety problem, but you don't want to work that way because now the spacing is too big. Just after it cools, slide it back together, tighten it down, and now you have a nice firm platform here for your sears all. Okay? So the final and actually super crucial step is seasoning your sears all. On the inside of your sears all is uh, insulation, high temperature insulation. It has an organic binder. We need to burn that binder off. And also, the screens, when they come to you, the screens aren't seasoned. You need to build up an oxide layer on these things, otherwise they will get destroyed. In fact, just turning your sears all on for the first time without seasoning them can destroy your screens. So the first thing you ever do when you attach the sears all to a tank is you season it first. And also, anytime you replace these screens later on, you have to repeat the seasoning process. So it's very important to remember that the first time you use a sears all, you're going to want to season it. And also, it's important to note that when these binders burn off in the Searsol, you're going to get uh, a little bit of flame and you'll get a slight odor. You will not have any of this stuff happen when you're actually using the Searsol to cook. Okay, so how do you season it? One, make sure that you're at least four feet away from anything flammable, right? And here's the key. You're going to want to point your Searsol, the screens, exactly parallel to the ground. Not like this. And not like this. What you're doing is stopping, is you're forcing the sears all flame to go up, right? And it's reducing the amount of oxygen that's on the inside here, and it's allowing uh, um, an oxide layer to build up here at the proper rate. If you fire the sears all like this, you'll burn out the screen within two minutes. So you have to hold this parallel to the ground, make sure you're, again, not near anything flammable, right? And then light it for a full two minutes. Hold it in this position. Yes, you do have to hold it in this position for two minutes. Ready? Set, go. Okay, now uh, I'm weak, so that was actually pretty hard to keep it in that position. You don't need to keep it up above your head. That's just because I'm shooting the video. In fact, you know, just keep it four feet off the ground. I'm Dave Arnold from Booker and Dax, and I'm here to show you how to set up your sears all for first use. Now, everything I'm going to tell you, you can find in the instructions and online at www.searsall.com. Please read all the instructions first. What I'm going to do on this video, if you don't do it, you can literally destroy or damage this product by not following these three simple steps that I'm going to show you. First, you need to use the right torch uh, and the right tank. The only tanks that we recommend for use are these 16.4-ounce, uh, they're called camping uh, propane tanks. And we use these because they're short and because they're wide, which means that your Searsol is not going to tip over and cause a lot of problems. So use no other tanks other than these 16.4-ounce tanks ever because we don't want those things tipping over. On the torches, we recommend one of two torches, either the burns matic TS-4000 torch or the uh, burns matic TS-8000 torch. You might sometimes see this torch in a slightly different variant that's gray.